the left atrium receives blood which is highly oxygenated as it passes from the ductus venosus through the foramen ovale. This blood then passes into the left ventricle and is pumped out the aorta, being about 65% oxygenated. This highly oxygenated blood then passes through the blood vessels which service the brain and the upper limb. The right ventricle receives largely deoxygenated blood from the right atrium. The right ventricle pumps blood into the pulmonary trunk, and about 10 to 20 percent of this blood will then pass through the pulmonary arteries to reach the lungs and supply them with the blood they need during development. The majority of the blood from the pulmonary trunk, however, will pass through the ductus arteriosus, another shunt which then brings blood to the aorta. Once the blood from the ductus arteriosus, which is largely deoxygenated, mixes with the blood which was in the arch of the aorta, the resulting blood has a low oxygen content and this low oxygen blood passes through the descending aorta where some of it will then be pumped into the legs and the digestive organs but much of it will end in the umbilical arteries which carry this deoxygenated blood to the placenta where gas exchange can then bring the maternal oxygen into this fetal blood and the umbilical vein can return oxygenated blood to the fetal body once again.